the next exercise we are going to see is cross tab analysis cross tab analysis are used to um, analyze the categorical variables just to identify how many numbers are appearing in the given data set so for that we can make use of the existing data set available with the sample data of SPSS software go to file open then let us take the customer dbase.sav I am taking the sample data set called customer underscore dbase.sav open it here we have customer id region town size gender and age in this case gender and age are given now i want to know uh, um, on what basis the gender and age are given in the uh, data set that is go to analyze menu click descriptive statistics under that we have an option called cross tab after the explore we can see an option called cross tab Go to analyze the descriptives and cross tabs. Click the cross tabs. Then this cross tab window will appear. All the variables are imported here. Now we have to include only those variables that are required for cross tab analysis. Uh, I need it. I need a gender. So I am bringing it in analysis area. Then age in years. So only these two I want to see in cross tab. Then if you click exact, uh, nothing to do with exact and, and statistics, if you want to do chi-square or uh, correlation, we can perform. But here, um, it's, it's a categorical variable, no need to do all these things. So just keep it as such. So click cancel. Cells also, we are not going to do anything with this. Format, uh, whether you want it in ascending or in descending, by default it is ascending, so let it be. Then style, nothing to do with this. And bootstrap, we are not going to perform. So no need to select anything else. If you want to display the bar chart for the given data, you can check this, you can click this so that this tick symbol will appear. And uh, you, you can also suppress the table. If it is a very large data set, you can suppress the table, but I'm not going to do it right now. Just, I'm just selecting the bar chart alone just to see how it looks like. Then click OK. You will be getting the output in another window. So here uh, in this craze processing summary, we can see how many data it is uh, 5000 data is available in this data set. And also you can see is there any missing value. There is no missing value in the given data set. Then coming to this cross tab, the gender is given in, in this axis and all the years are given here. Uh, male. Uh, the age 18 years are 62 people 62 numbers are there 62 responses are there and from the female category the age group of 18 I mean the age of 18 40 responses are there so totally put together the 18 years people 18 years responses the age 18 years is 102 so similarly for all the years I mean all the ages you have in your data set it has been uh, cross tabbed with age so now we are uh, up to 79 we uh, our respondents varies from 18 to 79 and totally 2449 males and 2551 females were respondents totally 5000 responses in our data set so this is how we can do this uh, cross tabulation for the given categorical data then we have inserted this bar chart and age wise the bar charts are um, appearing here so this is how we can perform cross tabulation using spss thank you